Yo, what's up, world? Sivi here, and welcome back to my birdhouse. So, today's topic we're going to be discussing a little bit of an incident that happened with me and my birds, my Jacobins, on the farm. I thought I'd share it with you guys. I just wanted to try and be as transparent with everyone, especially, you know, on YouTube, on my Facebook page. And yeah, this was quite an unfortunate incident. And if you've been following along on the Facebook, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want to go too much to details here in the intro, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and yeah, check you just now in the video. Before we move on with the rest of today's video, I just want to put a little disclaimer in here. I am in no way a vet or an avian specialist. The advice and information I give out in my videos is simply my own experiences and knowledge that I have gained over the years from keeping birds. If at any point you feel you need professional help or advice, please consult your avian vet. Yo, what's up world, Sivi here, and welcome back to my birdhouse. So today we're here down at the farm, and uh, I had to rush through, as some of you people who follow us on Facebook will know. We had a bit of an incident with some of the birds here, and yeah, so things have been hectic over the last couple of days, but I think the birds are now sorted, and we're gonna be okay. So these are my Jacobin cages here. I have a row of four. And then over here I have set up two temporary cages. This entire area here is now a quarantine, so we just gotta be careful. I have a foot dip here for our shoes, just you know, so we don't spread anything between ourselves and the rest of the farm. So yeah, let's go inside and then we can chat once we're in. So yesterday I rushed to the vet with the body of Harold as well as four other random birds that I picked out of the cages here, one from each cage and they were off to the vet, reason being is um, I had to get them checked out, why were the birds dying? I had lost a previous bird cream just two weeks prior to this so it was very unusual that I was having two birds die within like a two week time period which is quite unusual so that's why we had them to the vet and as you can see the birds are in an absolute state I haven't been here for two months and we had a bit of a an issue with um, your our caretaker here and communication and all that so that's all been sorted now don't worry and the birds have all been medicated so all the birds have been given a anti antibiotic as well as a dewormer and this is just because that the antibiotics just a bit to like boost the immune system and then obviously the dewormer to get rid of the actual infection that is currently taking place here. So unfortunately I don't now have time to, you know, deworm, medicate all these birds as well as record and everything. So we're missing all of that recordings, including the recordings of me cleaning out all these cages. But, I mean, it's fairly simple in terms of keeping these cages clean. They all have these concrete floors, which just get swept out and scrubbed with some soap and water. And then you have fresh straw, and I put some newspapers, and I put plastics on top of the boxes just to prevent rotting. And yeah, obviously food and water bowls are supposed to be cleaned every day. I haven't quite gotten to washing out any of the food or water bowls yet today, because yeah, it was just an absolute chaos this morning coming in here and trying to catch every single bird give every single bird their dosage of medication check on everyone and yeah i'm really hoping that with this treatment everyone's going to be feeling much better so what i've done for my cages is generally i keep a book and in my book i have who's in what cage what number they are on their rings what their names are and all of that so that we can just keep track of them but for the simplicity of now medicating all these birds and me not going to be on the farm permanently, uh, I've left instructions for my keeper, my caretaker, just to, to take care of the birds, what dosage each bird is supposed to be getting, so on and so forth. So what I did was I made these little laminated cards that is hung in front of every cage. And all it is is just what cage it is, who's in the cage, along with their ring numbers for reference and what they're supposed to be getting and how often 
So I've just left here that they must get Baycocks, 5 units, once a day for 3 days. Pancure, 0.15 mils, once a day for 5 days. And then the Ivermec, 5 units, once a week, specifically on Mondays, for 10 weeks. And I've done this across every single cage. And I've color coded them, so we have a blue, yellow, pink and orange cage. And behind me in the temporary cages is red and green. So yeah, and then I've also made sure again that in every cage is indeed every bird that I have said should be in the cage. Now these cages were originally set up for breeding purposes, so it was pairs of birds. But what I had to do was I had a very sickly bird in this cage, so what I did was I took this bird and I moved it down to the bottom in the temporary cages so it can get a bit more one-on-one -on -one care. And then all I did was I just moved a bird from next door into this cage so that we still have four birds four birds four birds I, I know we're missing a bird here but Harold did pass away so unfortunately we are missing a bird here and yeah same story of this cage these birds have all been medicated and everything they are looking super scruffy at the moment and I'm hoping that because they are molting currently and with now obviously the dewormer and the antibiotics and I've changed their food that we can get a little bit of weight on them Oh yeah, all my cages I just close and I have like a clip just to clip the doors closed just to prevent doors from opening. These were originally parrot cages, that's why I still got these uh, parrot cage uh, bowls where you, you open this and you turn it out like this and then you can put bowls in. But obviously I'm using it for pigeons and that's not necessary in my case. So this is the next cave. I'm sure what it, you guys would have seen I took... Casanova over there with to the vet. So he is my PMV survivor. He actually had Paramax virus a couple of years ago So I decided to take him as definitely one of the birds that came with to the vet because he is probably the most at risk out of everyone here So yeah, this is that cage I mean they're evidently Feeling a bit better if you know they like this is Victoria over here if they um jumping up and sitting on their sticks and stuff yesterday a lot of the birds were not doing this they were sitting all kind of huddled over there in the corners and stuff so I'm glad to say that they are looking better I see Biscuit over there who's this this white one he's still looking a little bit not too good then in our last cage here uh, these birds are actually new birds to the farm so they only arrived on Friday and um, they don't need to get medication because I actually dewormed them back at my house when they were still in quarantine with me. So some of them are brand new and um, I haven't actually revealed their names yet. So I guess here's a name reveal for those of you who are waiting. And that's our two new Birmingham Rollers over there in the corner. Um, to our left is Clover, the one with the more like white head and belly. And then to our right is Ruth, and that's the roller with the more the darker colorations and spots. I am waiting on a ring for Ruth. Um, they didn't come with a ring, so I'm going to be ringing them as soon as I get a ring in that I, I have ordered one. And then, of course, everyone knows Pepper. Pepper's come to the farm as well for a little bit of a stay, and I hope he's going to enjoy his stay here. Now, usually I would not recommend paying your pigeons and doves together. I've decided to put them together and we'll see how it goes because they are roughly the same size and it should be okay. Of course if Pepper starts you know, being picked on then he will be removed from this cage and put in a different cage that we will set up. Another thing I just wanted to mention about my cages before I leave this particular section is that I have a double door with a corridor. And the reason why it's like that and why I prefer it this way, even with the Jacobins who aren't necessarily good flying pigeons, is because if you open this door here and say a bird accidentally flew out, you can actually close this door and you still have this entire space here where you can catch the bird, contain the bird and get it back into its space. And that just kind of prevents anyone flying off. And then what I've also done is a bit of a makeshift door weight and that's just so that if you open the door, closes automatically and that's just to keep this door from from ever staying open because unfortunately at one stage I had an issue where um, my keeper would actually forget to close the door behind him and it was yeah a problem because we had a bird escape but don't worry we caught the bird it was one of the Jacobins luckily it just kind of like waltzed out 
jackmans don't tend to really fly up or fly out sporadically so I just kind of walked out and was like having a walk around here and luckily yeah we were able to get the bird back in so oh my shoelace is undone but let's just head over this side so this foot bath is just here to like I said disinfect our feet so we're going now next door unfortunately it's a bit awkward getting in here because this is a temporary cage it's actually not a not a permanent cage set up here these I used to use as sick bays or housing for birds that aren't necessarily fitting in with the flock and for now it's got all our we just bought some new food and bowls and stuff for them that I'll be mixing in so this is our next cage over here and it's kind of got my little I want to say odd ones out that are living in here so you can see Oliver over there and this is our new little girl well I hope it's a girl is Aqua and they seem to be doing okay and over there is the Jacobin that was really really not looking good yesterday it's we're still not looking good today and I'm hoping that we can pull this bird through um, and yeah this bird is fresco I don't know if a lot of people know this bird but I really am hoping that we will be able to pull this bird through and yeah so far it's not looking good but let's have our high hopes up and hope that they make it Cool, and then the last cage over here who I've had to put completely separate is Exo and the reason why is because the vet warned me that he is morbidly obese and it is going to be a problem. So here's Exo over here, he's our adopted racing pigeon and yeah he is severely overweight so he is being checked for feeding and I'm hoping that we can get that weight down just a little bit. I also had him in at the vet because as you can see there on his face, if he turns, he turns, there we go, you can see he has like a little growth on the top there of his, of his nose. So I just had him in at the vet just to check that that isn't anything serious and yeah, luckily it wasn't serious, it's just a little growth and as long as it doesn't impact any of his breathing or eyesight or get in the way, uh, there's no need to remove it. And that's everything I have for you guys on this uh, situation. So yeah, I thought I'd just share with everyone. Um, it's never pleasant to have to share that your, your animals, in this case my pigeons, are not doing well and that they're sick. And like I said on the Facebook post, this really is more my fault than anything else. Unfortunately, for the last two months, I haven't been as diligent as I normally am and as pedantic as I normally am with my birds, where I'm like checking up on these birds constantly, making sure they're clean, making sure they're food and water is correct so on and so forth like I really am pedantic um, for those of you who perhaps know me personally and you know that the birds in my house are treated like really small spoiled children <laughs> but yeah um, unfortunately the situation could have been completely avoided if there was just a better communication between myself and my keeper on the farm and unfortunately yeah we did have two deaths as a result and it really is something that um, I'm very sad and upset about but there's nothing we can do anymore about those two birds that passed and so for future we just gotta learn from this experience and move on. In all my years of keeping birds, although I have had worms, I have never actually had a bird pass away due to the infection because I normally pick it up fairly quickly, deworm them or get them to the vet if necessary. So yeah, uh, this was just a bit of a, a mess up all in all, but I'm glad that it's all sorted now. I did have a good long chat with my keeper and he understood, you know, what we can do in future, how we can improve it. We did a bit of like, um, I want to call it like a workshop again. I just went through with him again with all the pigeons, um, explained to him how we look after them, what to look for in terms of weight how to handle them again, how to administer medication, just kind of like a refresher course if that's what you want to call it because I do, I do, did give him training before he started with the birds and we just did a bit of a refresher just for in case he didn't understand anything and I'm really glad that him and I have had that chat because I think now in future things will be much different with the birds as he really is a good guy and I feel that with his cooperation and the, the good care that I know he can give, we will be okay for future. So yeah, I thought I'd just share with you guys. I know it's something that's not asked to share, but hey, if I can be an example and people can learn off of me, that's great. That's the point of my channel. That's the point of my Facebook page. It's really just to be more educational and to help people out there. 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a bit um, sad and not necessarily perky like our videos normally are. But let's see if next week we can pick that up and have a much happier video. Have a great day everyone and yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one.